Hey, most of us have a story few people would believe. Uh, a principal at a Metro Middle School had a student report something he couldn't explain. News 9's Jordan Frimstead shows us how this mystery casts a wide net of possibilities. In the depths of the walls at Cooper Middle School. Education's the game, yeah. There is a principal whose passion for teaching flows deep within his heart. It's a fun group. It's a fun group. Jason Burkhart is a leader who can count on his students. They like to report things because they're seventh graders. To report so, suspicious activity. That's kind of what happened yesterday. A student brought Jason something. Yeah. That lured him in. Yeah. I said, well, where'd you get that? On Thursday, security cameras caught something. My principal mind goes to, okay, who just vandalized a recess area? Jason didn't expect his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely To not. catch this. Absolutely not. Did you see it? Right there. She was one step away from getting nailed. I started off as a drama teacher, so uh, I'm not making a story up. Step outside. So. This is the area where they came down. And Jason. They're everywhere. Could only wonder. One right here. I don't know. I can't explain it. Why so many fish <laughs> sat on the ground? And they were on the roof. Yep. And did you think your students were hoping you'd take the bait on a prank? <laughs> I thought that. I don't know about you guys, but this story still feels fishy to me. Weather in Oklahoma is, is crazy. So we talked to Oklahoma's weather expert. That's a good one. David Payne. That's a good one for sure. Water spouts that travel over a stream or a pond or the ocean, they will pick up frogs and snakes. Because this happened on Thursday afternoon. It was like blue sky yesterday. David says the likely suspects are birds. For some reason, they just decided to throw up. The jury's still out. Pretty, pretty wild. On Mother Nature's decision. Quite the fish story. To drop a school of fish at Cooper Middle School. Definitely newsworthy. Jordan Fremstead. But a, a true fish tale. Oklahoma Zone, News 9.